In terms of being able to add this component to your resume, right? Now a woman that's run 1526 and 3259, like just how significant is that to you? It's, I mean, it's amazing. I, I was already really happy with my performances in the 5K and especially my performance last year. And I was really hoping that uh, this year I would have my highest finish. So I was at least shooting for fourth, um, but as high as I could finish. And I outdid my, my position last year, so. <laughs> What are, do you have any more eligibility left? Um, I, I guess I technically do. Um, I have a COVID year, but I graduated from Michigan State this past uh, spring, and I'm planning on just not taking the, the extra year. Yeah. What was the degree? In? Chemical engineering. Okay. Yeah. So it was a long five years, <laughs> well, just uh, running competitively and traveling, but um, figured out how to balance it pretty well and. Yeah, I ended up with a good degree and a good running career, so. So where do you go from here? What's the plan? Um, I don't really know yet. I mean, I think I have a future in, in either my degree or running. Um, it's just, I'm still deciding what I would like to pursue. So. Mm -hmm. And do you think, would you be interested in like continuing on the track or on the roads or marathon one day? Like, what do you, where do you see your future? Yeah, um, honestly, I just love to keep my options open. Um, I did the same thing coming into this year. I was like, well, you know, I'm open to the 10K, I'm open to the 5K, I got my, Dip my toes in a 1500 to uh, two this year, so I just, you know, I don't know where my career will take me, but I'm just hoping to have a long run. Yeah. So, do you have any sort of like post graduation celebration plan for like the next week or two? It sounds like you don't have any like firm career or you know running plans for the next. Yeah, uh, our graduation was um, a while ago, so I had a lot of celebrations with my my family back in East Lansing. Um, I'm from Michigan, so all my family is from Michigan too, and. It was, it was a nice time. It was actually uh, the weekend before Big Tens, and then we all um, flew up to Minneapolis because I actually have family in Minneapolis, too, so I celebrated with them a little bit up there. And so I'm just, you know, enjoying, enjoying the third place and, yeah, just trying to have a fun rest of the weekend. Great. But Jenna, uh, like I said, I mean, just this level of consistency. It, I mean, it's it's truly remarkable because I mean, <laughs> I, I mean you you see how people like you know, like you know Haley you know gambles and then people just kind of you know do all sorts of different things at different, mm -hmm. different times of the year and different events. Just the fact that you know you can show up grass and trail indoor out, you know, outdoor and just every single time have one of those like you know for a woman that was you know started your career in the fashion that you did and, and <laughs> you know being a walk on to the program like how powerful is that? It's I mean it's amazing. It's a huge part of my identity as a runner and. And just, I don't know, it shows a lot of promise for me in the future, you know, and whether I pursue running or, or a degree, um, not a degree, sorry, um, a chemical engineering yes. degree or some mix of both. I mean, you know, I, I feel like uh, my options are really open right now, and I just know that whatever I do, I'm, I'm going to try my best to be great at it. All right, congrats on the run tonight. Thank you so Thank much. You.